الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم uh, Today's lesson is on numbers We've had one lesson before this but I will briefly do a summary of what we've covered so we can start completing what we need to do next because as I said before we're going to be counting up to billions and trillions and trillions so first thing is 1 to 10 like we mentioned before 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wait, so come, let's go, bro. What's the first one? Uh, Wahid. Wahid. Uh huh? It's an Uh huh? Next? Arba. Next one? Khamsatun. Khamsa. Next? Sittatun. Next? Sabatun. Next? Amaniatun. Next? Tisatun. Next? Asha. 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 Bye. Um, obviously, if, if you didn't know these numbers, then you'd be at a problem when it comes to the rest of the numbers. These numbers are the foundation of counting in Arabic language. Anyway, so these are the numbers, and like we said before, 1 and 2 are always different from 3 to 10. You see that pattern repeat yourself over and over again. 1 and 2. It's always different from 3 to 10. Mm. Or, already you can see that 1 and 2 is masculine, whereas 3 to 10 is minus, feminine. feminine yeah. uh, then we mentioned that if you want to say there's one car or one person, you say Talibun. Sorry. You say Talibun. Wahidun. So the Wahid behaves like a gnat. Same thing this one, Dali Bani. It's Nani. So then this Nani behaves like a gnat. When we get to 3 to 10, we have to have Mudaf and Bafile, or as I say, one word being connected to the other. So we say, Thalatha Tu Tullabin. Arbaatu Arbaatu Aklamin. And like I said before, the important thing to remember is that this has to have one dhamma as, as opposed to normally being thalathatun. Now that it's the connector or the mudaf, we have to say thalathatun. And this will be majroor, tullabin. Arba'atun aqlamin. Secondly, we mentioned that it has to be plural, tullab. I mentioned these things because these things change as we move off the topic. Arba'atun aqlamin. Aqlam is the plural of. Qalam. Also, we mentioned that it has to be opposite in gender, and we mentioned the reason why it has to be opposite in gender. Could you remind me, please? The reason why the numbers have to be opposite to the other thing in gender. We mentioned it, yeah? Yeah, we did. And when I, when I remind you again, you're going to remember it. Oh, no. I forgot. Uh, because... <laughs> no, because before we were counting anything, they were feminine. So now that we added a tullab or talib or qalam, we leave it feminine. As in, talib is not naturally masculine, it's just that sometimes it gets behaved like a feminine. It's something you could change to feminine by adding tap on water, but naturally, normally, it's masculine. Just like three is naturally and normally feminine. If I say uh, count from one to ten, yeah. You say wahid is nan thalathatun. You will say thalathun. Yeah. Say thalathatun. So number three is thalathatun, not thalathun. 
So just cause, because that is normally masculine, feminine, and this is normally masculine, leave it as it is. And then when we make this feminine, as a change it from the norm. You have to change that. Then we change the other one from the norm. See this being an example. Wa alaikum as salam, kaif ka'ala. Chairs at the back. Anyway, where are we? Yes, siyarat. Oh, siyarat, sorry, I don't know. Siyarat. I need to delete the term. What term? Oh, yes. So, because this is feminine, mm -hmm. we've changed it from norm to something feminine. This has to also be changed from the norm. So therefore I remove the term of water because we can't add another term of water. Which is what we normally would do. So we just say Khamsu Sayaratin. Or Situ Situ for example Darwajat. And like I said, the same thing applies with the Dhamma and the Majroor. Mm -hmm. Then we went moving on to um, eleven. 11, you don't actually say Wahid Ashar, you would say Ahad Ashar. The reason why I'm not too sure, but you say Ahad Ashar. Don't worry, Wahid will come back. But in terms of 11, we have to say Ahad Ashar. So we add the Ashar at the end of this. What does Wahid mean literally? One. One. So what does Ahad mean literally? One. <laughs> um, regards to one, one is from the word wahada, which means to make something one. Like if I, if I want to make something one, as in unify or make some all your different parts one, wahada I'll is have wahada. Wahada as a fi'il, the master will be tawheed. As in, Tawheed means to make something one. One. So, Tawheed is not a newly invented word, it's a word that's in Arabic language, means to make something one. You can have Tawheed in anything. Um, outside of Deen, you can have Tawheed of the different groups and parties and make them all one. Anyway, um, that's also, for example, United, the name for United is also from Wahada, but on the pattern of Ifta'ala. So, we have Ittahada. Which means united. That's why United Nations is Al Umam Nations, as in plural. 